And now to talk about the module of the week, let's turn it over to Martin Anderson Klutz, a senior solutions engineer at Acquia and a maintainer of a number of Drupal modules of his own. Martin, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. Have you wanted to make your Drupal site self-documenting directly within the admin UI? There's a module for that. It's called Content Model and Site Documentation, and it was created in January of 2023. It has a 1.0.23 version available compatible with Drupal 9 and 10, and it is actively maintained. In fact, the latest release was just a week ago. It has test coverage, and it doesn't technically have an official guide on Drupal.org, but there was a recent talk about the module at GovCon, so you can watch that, and we've got a link down in the show notes. It has 43 open issues, nine of which are bugs, against a usage of 82 sites. And the maintainer is Steve Wirt, or Swirt, on Drupal.org, who works for Civic Actions. The module works by allowing your Drupal site to generate its own documentation. It creates fieldable content model document entities that allow you to customize what data will be stored. And you can use those to optionally document things like your content types, taxonomies, block types, paragraph types, and more. Documentation elements can also be associated with parts of your site configuration, and they become available within the relevant parts of your admin UI. For example, if you add documentation for a specific content type, when a site builder goes in to edit that content type, they will see a link to the documentation as a tab. You can generate entity relationship diagrams using Mermaid.js, and it also includes a field search capability that was originally released as a separate module by Mathieu Scarset, who was a guest on this show back in episode number 298. Um, content model documentation will also generate diagrams to illustrate your content workflows, showing the states defined and the transitions between them. So I'm personally excited about this module because I've been wanting for a long time to help make Drupal sites more self-documenting. So let's talk about content model documentation. So my first question is, um, you kind of partially answered this, that you can use this for like content editor documentation, which is usually one of the hardest, I, I think it's one of the hardest things about training because it's always in a separate place. And I've certainly documented stuff in line with like the help fields and stuff, but that that always feels like it's not quite uh, quite enough. So my one of my questions is where, where where do nested entity documentation pieces go? Like if you document a content type and then that content type is embedded as a reference, can you, do you know if you can access that documentation from the parent entity or? So my understanding is that if you were going in, let's say to the manage fields tab on, let's say a content type, that you would see that sort of in line with like manage fields, manage display, manage form display. It, it would sort of be in line with there. So if you were wanting it to be readily available to like content creators, I'm not sure that it's putting it in sort of maybe the ideal place for that, but potentially that's something you might be able to address with a patch. Awesome. Yeah, I'm liking um, the editorial workflow. I think that that's a big deal. Uh, you've got, uh, to a lot of people, when you have content moderation going, it can be like a black box. Like, what happens when I do this? What happens when I do that? Um, and even though like the, the screenshot they provided with the arrows doing all this crazy stuff, um, I mean, that's real, right? Like, it will or won't go there. And, and in Jira, you can do that, like, or at least that's what we use. But in Jira, you can see, like, you can go from here to here or here to here. So that's like, it's kind of a, it's a very cool uh, idea. And, um, I could see this being a really great way to kind of polish what you provide in Drupal, not just the, um, you know, obviously we can get it to work. Drupal works and, and does what it needs to do, but this makes it, I think, more understandable for people who need it, the visual of how any changes they make will affect the outcome. So that's really I love, cool. I love the visual. One thing I'm, I'm, I'm thinking could be a good addition here is like, a list of people that you can reach out to that are like, Oh, this is in review. Like who's reviewing it. And if I need to go like prod that person, uh, how do I get to them? But 
yeah, I, I think the visual of the of the workflow, I know like Jira has something similar to that, right? I think it's very helpful for people to know how their stuff gets from like draft to published. I mean, I, I think one of the really nice things about the visual, especially if it's semi-automated, like where it pulls in new relationships, is, is that it can help you when you're auditing something post, you know, maybe a year after it's been up or three, two years or three years or five years or whatever, you can kind of see how the architecture has evolved and maybe see relationships that can be simplified. And I think that's what you were kind of getting at, Melissa, but you know, yeah. putting it plainly, sometimes seeing a visual like dotted line between things, you can be like, wait a minute, we're relating things through this entity, but really that doesn't make sense. We can just do it directly. And then we just remove a whole relationship or um, level of abstraction. Um, it's funny not to go down a, uh, not to go down a, a total segue rabbit hole here, but um, Nick recently picked up a website that um, I worked on long ago that has a number of very complicated um, uh, entity references. And um, uh, this could be a great use case for being able to see like all of those entity references on one screen and be able to maybe uh, as, as Nick and Melissa both said, like simplify streamline things. <laughs> I didn't even um, think of that, but taking over a site, this can be so pretty. I'm going to install that and see if it blows up. I, that's I, kind I, of what I was thinking too. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what what said said project looks like in this in this sort of diagramming uh, utility. But well, when you when you when you inherit a website that you didn't build, this kind of tool can really help point out um, quickly point out areas where you might want to improve or change, or at least give you understanding of how changes you want to make might affect the outcome of the site without having to go through and. We all know entity references are great, but it also means that like it can hide the complexity of things sometimes. So w yep. within within a site, so it's it's this is very cool. You're gonna say something. One other thing that, yeah, one other thing that was interesting in that GovCon talk was a couple of people talked about using this module. Basically, there's a way to export those um, content model document entities and then importing those into like a very basic site turning that into basically a static site that can then be put onto like GitHub pages or something like that as mm. just sort of a static Git repo. And then if you ever want to understand sort of like, when did that entity reference change from, you know, pointing to this type to that type or become more complicated, uh, you can use like a Git blame or something like that to, to sort of be able to, to oh. do some of that, you know, digging back through the history and so on. So uh, some pretty interesting ways uh, this module has been used already. So, so like a uh, part of the CI just like exports that, imports into a fresh site, and exports that to a separate repo that stores the history of the content architecture. So, it, I believe the way it works is it provides Drush commands, and so you know the the actual process wow. of moving it between sites would be, I think, maybe a bit more manual, but um, you know potentially automated. I'm sure. Wow. I. I'm going to have to look into this deeper. This is, there's been so <laughs> many like really rich modules of the week recently. Um, I, I'm getting a bit of a backlog of things that I need to investigate, but this is, this yeah. is definitely up there for sure. Thanks Martin for always bringing your A game. <laughs> it's pretty great. Absolutely. Well, thanks Martin as always. And if listeners want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to do that? On Drupal.org, uh, Drupal Slack, and a variety of other social platforms, they can find me as at Manclue. Awesome. Thanks, Martin. See you next week.